We've got a uh, lady who wants to sham her boss, and they work for the cable company. The cable company, and the boss is the manager of the cable company. Uh-oh. Christy is the shammer. She's going to tell us all about it. Hey, good morning, Christy. Welcome to the Stephen D.C. Radio Show. How are you? I'm fine. Good. So you're shamming the boss. Oh, uh, yeah. That can be dangerous. That can be very dangerous. Can yeah. be. Yeah, I all hope right. you're in good standing. Now, we've got a bunch of information. We've got the, the name that's actually on an account, so we can, uh, if they pull up our record, we'll have a record, and I think we're ready to go. Is he? Does he have a temper? Yeah. He does? <laughs> Especially first thing on a Monday morning? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Well, Monday mornings, yeah, he, he's, he's going to be a little perturbed. And, and yeah. only, only has a temper on days and end in why. <laughs> <laughs> How does he usually react to customer complaints? He usually puts them off on us. <laughs> well, not and, this and time. And I'm not there, so. Not this time. He's here we go. Michelle. We will bring you on at the end to rub it in, okay? Here All we right, go. Here we go. I'm calling the... Manager of a cable company, and we have a problem. Cable communication, Regina speaking. Can I help you? Yes, I was told I need to speak with. Oh goodness, I can hardly read my own writing. The the manager, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gill. Yes, ma'am. May I ask your name? My, it's not even important. I'm a customer, and I, my name is Velma. Velma. Okay, hold on, and no, I'll get him for you. Velma with a V. That's okay. V, like Vince, or Vaz. Yes, ma'am. Or Vanilla. Okay. Or uh, Variety. Hold on one second. V. Velma. Not Velma. Velma. Stand it when people. This is Keith. Uh, who's speaking, please? This is Keith Gill. Listen, I'm a customer, and if you want to pull me up, you can pull me up under the green residence, because that's my son. Okay. And I am upset about what happened with the cable over the weekend. What happened? What do you do there, anyway? I'm the installation manager. Okay, I was, uh, had, had invited some ladies over from the church. I'm in the choir with them, and I invited them over, and we were going to make snacks and enjoy a special on cable last night, yes, and it didn't come out. What was it that you were trying to get? I had ordered, I was over at my son's house, I don't have cable uh, at my house, because I really quite frankly feel that it's evil, and so my son invited us over to watch, we were going to watch the Royal Rumble, and we had paid for it, the twenty nine ninety nine, and we went to the channel, and nothing was there. It never came on? Nothing. Okay. Um... Does your son have you have his converter box hooked into a phone line, ma'am? My son and his box are irrelevant at this point because I'll tell you what's happened. It's over. And unless you're going to give me a tape of it or something so I can have the ladies back over, it's over. And I had made, with the help of my dear sweet sister, I had made hors d'oeuvres for them. I had made a cheese ball, and we sat down to watch the Royal Rumble, and there was nothing on TV. It wasn't even on there. Well, ma'am, I apologize for and that. Uh, we'll do everything we can to rectify this for you. I Listen, I don't want to hear you say things like that to me because all you're doing is lying to me. Ma'am, is there anything that I can say to you that'll make you happy? You can tell me what I'm supposed to tell June, who's in the third row, fourth person over, sings alto. What you can tell her about missing the crippler crossface. Huh? What am I supposed to tell June? Well, ma'am, what I can do is I can, I can call over to Cox Communications themselves. And I can have the lead customer service representative give you a call, and I'm sure that she can do anything that 
that's possible to rectify this for you. And, you know, like I say, if it's possible to get a tape made for you, we can do that. Well, listen, I feel like that somebody there owes me some money for it. Because when you pay for something, and then you sit down with the sweet ladies from the church of all things. I mean, I was sitting by Verna, who's the organist over at the church. Yes, and we both had our crackers and our cheese ball. And we wanted to see somebody drive someone into the ground, into the mat. And see, I, I like the jackknife power bomb, and Verna's a bigger fan of the people's elbow. Yeah. But yeah. that's what we expected. All right. And we didn't get it. And somebody there owes me the money for the, the hors d'oeuvres and the money that we paid to watch the big special. Okay. Well, like I said, I can have the CSR give you a call and, uh, Maybe we can rectify this for you, ma'am. I don't know. I mean, well, we're not Cox Communications, you, you, and we don't have anything to do with the uh, pay-per-view event. You don't know? Ma'am? You don't know? Was that what you said? You don't know? No, ma'am. I'm saying that I can't control what happens on pay-per-view. Uh, what I can do, like I say, is I can I can have someone give you a call that, that may be able to rectify this for you. Well, I can control dropping the people's elbow on your big dumb rear end. I'll tell you that right now. If I don't get full payment for, for what I spent last night to bring the ladies of the church over and all the food that we bought and then, of course, the money we spent to watch the special. Yes, ma'am. And and I feel like that uh, you've got me all riled up over it. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm I'm not trying to do that in any way. I would like to be able to help you in any way that I could. Listen, I don't think you even understand that Betty's husband left her three months ago. Yes, ma'am. And she's had a rough time with it. And I brought her over there to take her mind off the fact that her husband has walked out on her after 54 years. 54 years? 54 years they well, were married. that's a long time. Well, it sure is. And he walked out for another woman. He's going out with the secretary at the church. And after all of that and everything she's been through, I wanted her to come over and see a good, get a good shot of the Stone Cold Stunner. Because I thought it would bring her back and it would make her feel better. And of course, when we sat down, nothing, nothing but a test pattern on the screen. Ma'am, <laughs> I'm sorry, like I said, dude. What are you laughing at? I'm not laughing, ma'am. I'm I feel the wrong like, person to be talking to about this. Well, apparently, I, but I feel like you were laughing. No, oh, ma'am, I was not laughing. You were laughing. You were laughing at me. You were laughing at the other ladies at the church, weren't you? No, oh, ma'am, I wasn't. Hey, well, let me tell you one thing, Mr. What? Mr. Gill, is that your name, Mr. Gill? Yes, ma'am. If you smell what the Velma's cooking... Which I cooked last night for all the ladies, and they smelled it, and they wanted it, and they couldn't have it, because we didn't have what we wanted. It wasn't on TV. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, ma'am, if you'll give me your phone number, like I said, I can have the lead CSR give you a call, and like I say, we'll do everything we can to rectify this for you. Mr. Gill, let me tell you something, brother. Know your role and shut your hole. Okay? Hey, Keith. Mr. Gill. <laughs> Mr. Gill, you're on the Stephen D.C. Morning Radio Show. Hello. And we've got your uh, lovely employee, Christy, on the phone. This was her idea. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Keith. Good morning. Happy Monday. 
<laughs> you do not, you do not mess with the uh, the church ladies and their royal rumble. <laughs> Oh my God. Hey, Keith, you probably get some calls like that from time to time. Yeah, we do. <laughs> that came as no great surprise. He played it off well, Keith. Yeah, he did. He stayed calm. I thought it was funny, though. I could tell when he put it on the speakerphone, like, y'all have got to hear this crazy lady. <laughs> yeah. I put it on the speakerphone. I wanted everybody to hear that one. <laughs> well, can I tell you something? What's everybody that? Everybody already knew. Yeah, every, everybody was in on this, Keith. Oh, yeah, you were yeah, the only I one. Yeah, I see that. They're all piling in my office now. <laughs> you were the last to know. Well, go ahead and give the cable company a big plug. Yeah. All right. Well, Cox Communications. <laughs> we will rectify any problem that comes up. <laughs> there you go. They will take care of your problems at Cox. Hey, Keith, thank you so much, Christy. We had a blast. All right, guys. Thanks so much. All righty. Thanks. <laughs> all right. See you, Keith.